I don't use admit in the right word. Uh, in, in the right so sense. In context. In context. context. So, would you like to talk about Aziz um, Ansari, or would you talk like to talk about this sorority bitch? Uh, let's said, do Aziz said, first, because I mean her her <laughs> situation is funny. So we can, we can yeah. All right. Let's talk about Aziz. So first. I read the Aziz. Um, I don't even know what to call this. Basically, shit. it's kind of like a um, another like Me Too. Kind of situation. No, it's not me too. But not, not but not exactly. I read something today that also said like the people that support me too, the Me Too movement said that they understand that. Hold on, hold on, I don't want. I don't want this. Her, no, no, her no. situation is different from. They said they don't want to. They don't want to confuse the situation me from. Uh, fuck. I was trying to remember, but I can't. Uh, Basically, it's like one of those situations where somebody it's like it's always some people out there that's a, gonna hurt they like great, the cause. They had a great. They had a great difference between the fucking two. I had read it this fucking morning. It's right at the fucking fucking time. Um. Uh, yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Uh, this is it. I don't know what you got to say to the comments. Uh, yeah, because I know the situation with him, um, basically... It's really the, fucking weird. It's 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 hard and, uh, to distinct like, the fucking... It's not hard to distinct the difference between sexual assault and what's going on with the Me Too. Because that's what they said, right? Yeah, it's like yeah, a yeah, it's a big difference between like those, those situations and his situation. His situation was that, um, I guess, him and the chick, uh, they, I think were dating or something like that or I mean, like just hooking up or some shit okay there you go that's in the fucking title I'm tweeting alright so it says uh, quote, quote from quote it said critics worry that me too will lump together inappropriate behavior and sexual assault but women know how to make the distinction so what he was doing in this case he was like inappropriate behavior which also is not really that fucking true but it is at the same fucking time. It was weird as fuck. Yeah. All right, so let me explain. Let me explain the whole scenario that I read from the girl. Her name, she she disguised her name. I think it was Grace or some shit. But she was told like somebody on Babe.com or some shit like that. I don't know. Cause it's weird. When I was reading, it, it was weird because at first it was like the first person, but then it was being told at, by a third person too at the same fucking time. It was weird as fuck when I was reading. So this is what happened. They're at a party. Um, I don't know if it's a it's a TV show party or a movie party, whatever the fuck the case is. They're after party, something like that. They're partying. She's with somebody else. She's already on a date. Aziz is um, by himself doing what the fuck he's doing. But um, and the girl sees interest in him, and she because they have the same type of camera or some shit like that, some shit like that, something that that she already knew who the fuck he well, was. Well, she she was a photographer. That's her background. She's a photographer. Okay. That's that's what you say. I don't know. They didn't say that all the time. No, no, that's, <laughs> no, that's I got that from uh, okay. research. But yeah, but, basically um, a photographer. Well yeah, so that happened and that that's how they kinda of linked a little bit that night. So later on, um later down the line they meet up with each other. They get ready to go on this date. The first thing that caught my eye and that was weird as fuck to me, she willingly went up to his crib or apartment. Yeah, she went and was like, uh, he was like, do you want some wine? He was like, yeah. And the thing that I read, it was like, he gave me white wine. I prefer red. Like, the fucking matter is all he has in this fucking house. <laughs> That's for one thing. That, that that threw me off. Like, that don't even know fucking sense. Like, why is this being put in your fucking... I want to say like police report. It's not a police report, but that's what I want to say. Cause yeah. I, don't, I, don't have, I don't know the fucking word for it. But that was part of part of her description of the fucking night. And then she was like, okay, cool. I drank the white wine, blah, blah, blah. So we went to dinner. Uh, they ordered another bottle of wine, and they ordered their food and shit like that. And by the way, she Instagram po photoed this picture or uh, photoed the food, like everybody else does. So this whole time is going by good. But I don't know how I don't know what type of restaurants that you go to or so much like that. But sometimes they bring the real early, sometimes they don't. Sometimes yeah. they wait till you done eat shit like that. And Aziz had asked for the bill because I'm assuming he's done. Even though the bottle of wine that they was drinking, she was like. The bottle of wine wasn't even going and we was drinking, but he was rushing for the bill and shit like that. Like, I'm yeah, rich, motherfucker. Like, I don't want to drink the whole wine the bottle, bottle of wine. I don't want to drink the whole bottle of wine. That's how I, that's how I seen it. So then uh, after that, she she felt she felt like it was kind of weird because he was rushing her, kind of rushing her. I don't even think that's rushing, but it is what it is. So after that, they go back to 
uh, his apartment. Um, and she she said, like, you have a nice countertop or something like that. And then he was like, oh, yeah, you should sit on it or something like, some like that. Now, this is where shit gets real tricky, people. It gets weird as fuck because you can't tell if the shit is inappropriate or, or this is, like, some shit that will actually go on. He gives her head while she's on the countertop. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming she comes off the countertop and she gives him head. And then he said some shit like, uh, so where are we going to have sex at? Where, we, where you want to have sex at? Or where you want to fuck at? Whatever whatever the case is. She was like, um, she was like, nah, I'm good. Now, let's pause. It's time to have right there. After you get head and give a man head, I'm not saying he's supposed to expect sex. But this is... <laughs> <laughs> but this is the part where it gets a little blurry because after you say that shit, like that's kind of the mindset of what's going. Like that's the way it's all kind of leading to. That was already leading to when you went back to his place. Exactly, that, exactly. That, you didn't want to. You didn't want to have. Yeah, if you didn't want to do anything, uh, mess around with him, you could have just left. And this is also where it gets wet. By the way, we don't. Condone no, no, we're not shit. blaming or anything. <laughs> that's like going that. on. <laughs> I'm not blaming nobody. Nothing. Man. We all know condone or this shit or nothing. It's just a weird ass situation. So so they give each other head and stuff like that. And she's like, um, he keeps pointing at his dick and stuff like that. And this is where I feel uncomfortable. She, this is where it gets weird at. And then she was like, she was trying to move around. She described it in a fucking, I want to say memoir. That's what it was. That's what I'm going to call it. They call it a fucking memoir. She was describing like she was moving around his apartment like she was doing football drills and shit like that. I was like, what? If you was doing fucking football drills around this fucking apartment, why the fuck you just didn't head to the front fucking door? Which yeah, is very fucking weird. At that point where she felt uncomfortable, she could have just verbally told him no. But she, through, through the whole thing, she never told him uh, no. Let me, let me she, she kind of, she kind of indicated she, she in, a, in the thing she that, thought, she she that she did verbal, she did unverbal cues. Yeah, unverbal cues. Now let's keep going. Let's let's even keep going even more and deeper into this shit. So she, they made it seem in the fucking in the memoir they made it seem like like at least an hour or so had passed something like that. In the meanwhile, it seemed like probably five ten minutes. So she tells him. So even now she she verbally accused that she doesn't want to have sex. She said no, maybe second day, maybe this something else. This is where it gets inappropriate on his end. He was like maybe if I pour you another wine, glass of wine, whatever the fuck the case is, this is our second day. That's where it gets really inappropriate on his end. Even he was was saying because he was pointing at his dick and all this type of other stuff and shit like that. But this was after she was like her ever cute that she was giving and shit like that. But then she was like, no, maybe on our second date he pulled out and said, maybe if I pour you wine, uh, another glass of wine, it's our second date, like that. Mm -hmm. So now skip forward a little bit, head on a little bit more, and now she's saying no. Now she's saying like, no, I don't want to have sex and stuff like that. And now they just like, all right, cool, bet, let's chill. This is where it gets weird again. She gives them head while they're chilling. While they're chilling. Oh, yeah. She gives them head again. And my thing is like, if you're just going to keep giving the man head and keep telling him no, because I, I don't know if it was before or after, but she like, I, I don't think, when I read, I was like, I don't think she felt pressure to get his man head. And I think this is why people say they can, they can understand the difference between uh, inappropriate uh, line state line line and, and, and disease yeah. because you're not feeling pressured because you won't get this fucking role or you won't fucking um, or job work in Hollywood or whatever the fucking case is. You feeling, uh, I guess, I don't want to say insecure, uh, but you want you yeah, feeling how you feel, whatever the fuck the case is, because you just want to get the fuck up and leave. Yeah, she got you rather uh, suck this man's dick, and trust me, because like I, I have. Sorry if I'm being inappropriate or being rude right now. I have never seen nobody forcefully suck somebody's dick. You better bite that motherfucker off. Some. What it sounds weird. Like the whole case of the shit is that it's just weird as fuck and it doesn't make no sense to me. And I'm glad they they can distinct the two between Aziz and fucking Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, because like what it sounded like in the whole thing and like the I guess the report of like her doing it. That's why a lot of people don't want to associate this with the Me Too movement. It sound like she had like basically she had uh uh I wanna say uh uh remorse like 
dick remorse. She like she, the day after though. She texted him the fucking day after. No, nah, she texted him. Yeah, she texted him after saying that she, you know, she felt uh, it was blah, like blah, 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 and upset, and she was crying because like the way uh, she 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 never felt like that, and she was treated like this and stuff, and he just assumed, you know, that he was, that she was digging. Because the whole thing like is, that. like, after all that even happened, he was like, cool, let's just chill with our clothes on. And even in the memoir, she was like, it was just fucking weird to me, bro. She was like, we chilled with our clothes on and watched the episode of Seinfeld, one that I've never seen before. These are exact quotes in the fucking, in the memoir, or whatever the fuck the case, whatever the fuck she told, whatever she told. Like, why is this important that we know that you have never seen this episode of Seinfeld? Fact number one, everybody has seen every single episode of fucking Seinfeld because the shit comes on every fucking goddamn day. So the bitch is lying in the first case. That's how the fuck I feel, bro. This shit is weird as fuck, man. Like, it don't make no fucking sense because I'm not blaming either one of them because some of the shit that he was doing and shit was inappropriate. Him, he was doing, I forgot what the fuck. And the bitch has a like, name. Uh, no, 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 wait, uh, wait, 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 wait before I forget, wait before I forget. She said he has this move where he puts his fingers in her in her throat or some shit that indicates that he wants head and she call it the claw. This says it in the fucking and whatever the fuck she was writing or telling whatever the fuck she was telling. Like, bro, you have a sex move? Why? Bro, I can't believe the shit this bitch saying, bro. And it it like, blows the fuck out of me because the shit just so confused because you want to empathize with the bitch. But at the same time, you can't because after the shit she's saying, it's weird as fuck. Why do you have a sex move for you being fucking my, sexually in a, for a motherfucker that's sexually inappropriate for you? My to whole, you? Like, what the fuck, bro? That shit don't even make no sense, bro. My whole that thing, shit blows the fuck out of me. That my shit whole thing no sense. is this with the whole situation. Like, um, she should have indicated. Because, like, men are not, we are not mind readers. We can't read your mind. Fuck so, mind like, readers. no, no, no. When enough blood goes through your dick, that's what you're thinking with. Like, motherfuckers ain't <laughs> thinking about shit that you, that you, you no. need to say what the fuck you say. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She, 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 because, <laughs> like, through the whole thing, she insinuated that she, he knew that, like, off of her little um, she, she verbal, was, mm -hmm. like, non verbal cues, like, especially in that moment. I mean, like, he he's not thinking about your little verbal cues. Like if you would have said plain out, if she would have said plain out, no. Nope. Like then she said nope. no at the same time. No, and she, she just said from head too. Like right after. Yeah, but she's not speaking it. She's she she was saying like in her writing because like he can go back and uh, That's what I'm look for. at it. I'm looking for what he said. To in me. in her like after, in her little description of saying the thing, she never said no. Nope. She never said no. Nope. She she was saying she was saying she wasn't saying no with vocally. Mm -hmm. She was saying no as in like her uh her body movements or whatever, I guess like body language, body language or whatever. But it wasn't it wasn't well, it wasn't read, strong enough for him to, to understand. It's hard to read like, body he, language when she gave him head. Yeah, that's that, hard. That's, that's hard as fuck. That's that's it. Yeah, it's, this it's, situation is it's it's, it's, it's weird. weird. Like, that's why I was like, she like if you didn't like him or wasn't feeling him in the first place, you should not never went back like exactly. like to his crib like like. There's been plenty of people that have been on dates and like you go you you go even, even if you start at his apartment, y'all get something to drink, y'all go the fuck out, then y'all go out to eat. After you go out to eat, go home. Yeah, you can split your ways. Like if you weren't feeling him then, that's why I was like. Cause like in this situation, it kind of sounds like she had like uh, uh, buyer's remorse or like dick remorse. I'm gonna call it dick remorse. Cause like she she like if you wasn't feeling him like that in the in the beginning, went like then you could have just you know left. I was off. I was looking for what Aziz had said because he had spoke to whoever. No, was. he he spoke to somebody else and he was like he said he, he said his thoughts like about shit. About the he even said like shit. I'm sorry, I didn't know I he went didn't too know far it. Yeah. and all this other shit until I actually got the text the next day. Saying that, saying that he, he took everything yeah. to five, cause like he, man, shit, like he assumed yeah, that bro. the situation that she she liked it and all this other stuff. So like he didn't know. That's why I was saying like, if she would have flat out vocalized how she felt, like saying like, nah, I'm not feeling this, or nah, I don't want to have sex, or nah, I don't want to give you oral. And by the way, nah. the only reason all this is coming out is because uh, she wrote at the Golden Globes. He had. Um, I forgot what the fuck was, that pen was. That pen was that they were all. He was a part of the. Yeah, it was the. It's not. It's not me too, but it's um. Some of the time or something like the amounts of time or something like that. I can't. I can't remember the fucking. Yeah, it was all the all the, the men, all the men, all the like, men. Like everybody wore black and white. Times, like, times, times up. up. Times up. All the men were wearing times up pins because of the whole Hollywood situation and everything that's going on. 
But this whole situation with Aziz is weird as fuck. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm not blaming either party because half the shit that he was doing was fucking very fucking inappropriate. Yeah, it was inappropriate. And, and on the other side, the girl is but just also saying confusing. shit, like saying the claw and an episode of Seinfeld I've never seen before. And I prefer red one instead of white, and that's that's all he had. My Instagram, yeah. Instagram, the fucking picture of him at the fucking meal that you just had. Shit, oh, it's just weird, man. Yeah, that whole situation was weird. If you felt uncomfortable, you could have just left from the start. Like if you weren't feeling him, you don't like him like that. Leave and the, the whole start. thing, and the, it, and if a motherfucker feels in a, inappropriate or whatever, fuck inappropriate, or you, you feel like you don't want to leave. Let okay, them know. No, no, I'm saying like she, she like she just assumed like he he was able to read her mind or something. Like well, after you like, say no and you say that you feel uncomfortable, don't go back and get a motherfucking head. Like what the fuck type of signal do you think you really give it? Like that don't even make no fucking sense. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That whole situation. Even if weird. you didn't want to have sex. And I hope cool. I hope it don't like I hope people don't like take this at like in Sad the Me Too movement and like. Well, I'm glad they. I'm up. glad they uh, distinct. I'm glad yeah. they, they said that it, they, they they concluded distinct the fucking two between inappropriate and fucking uh, sexual assault. Because what Harvey Weinstein is doing that's sexual fucking assault. Yeah, that is. Because he's just fucking. He's fucking he's abusing. He was threatening abusing his power and, 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 and abusing his power. Shit. Right, right. So and Aziz was just being inappropriate. So I don't know, man. That's how I feel about the whole thing. I don't know how to 